Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a Kaldheim Draft Booster Box. So it's pre-release weekend. This will be the first booster box I'm getting stuck into. Can't wait. And if you missed the video we did last night, I'll check a link in the corner. So we opened two pre-release packs. Got some tasty pulls indeed. So let's take a look here at the foil promo here. So this was a buyer box promo. We've got Realm Walker, creature shapeshifter 2 3 for 3 with Changeling as it enters the battlefield. Choose a creature type. You may look at the top card of your library anytime you may cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of your library. Alright, very cool. Let's pop that over there and get into the box. So we'll be zipping through this at a decent clip. We're not going to be spending any time on the commons. Maybe we'll glance a little bit at the uncommons, but that's about it. And hopefully we will get ourselves a Vorinclex. So that is the uh, Phyrexian Beastie. So we'll be keeping our eyes peeled. All right, let's get into it. And okay, so these have a pull tab. Are they printed in Japan? They are. Okay, so that will make things go a bit quicker. Alright, so we've got a bird token, snow covered forest, and the rare is blood on the snow. I think the exposure is a little bit too high there. There we go. So, first rare, and checking if there's anything else. Nope. So, what are you thinking of the set so far? I think the artwork looks absolutely fantastic, like this bloke here, Zombie Berserker. Very cool. Pop him down there. Snow-covered plains. Dream Devourer. Creature. Demon Cleric. Don't think I've seen that guy before. Okay. Nothing there. So, I have seen boxes people have opened with seven mythics. Seems pretty insane. We've got a Snowfield Sinkhole. Foil. Tuscary Firewalker. And Tyrite Sanctum. Alright, pop that down there. And anything else? Nope. I mean, I'm sure there's lots of good stuff there. But we will be slowing down next week. Really soaking it up. We'll be snacking on another box. Uh, we may do another full box opening this weekend. We'll see. We've got a Dwarf Berserker. Love that artwork. Snow Covered Swampy. And Doomscar is the rare. Destroy all creatures. And I'm mainly just keeping an eye out for the showcase artwork. So that's with the special borders. Fancy stuff indeed. Alright, we've got some treasure. Snow covered plains. Sigrid God favored. Okay, for a second I thought that was going to be a god card, but nope. Okay, and here we've got Tybalt. Uh, I wonder if we'll find him. I forget what his... Um, he's got some alter ego, doesn't he? So we've got a Spirit Ice Tunnel. Foil Cardo Doom Scourge. Nice one. And the rare is Ascendant Spirit. And a Troll Warrior. We've been trolled, yes. Happens from time to time. And unfortunately, I have noticed a distinct lack of goblins in this set. So I hope they address that next time round. We've got Maskwood Nexus. Okay. So still got to see if my... Historic Goblin deck can be improved at all. So I've got an Angel Warrior, Snow Covered Mountain Foil, Dark Boar Pathway, Foil Rare, the other side. Oh, now I'm just messing everything up, aren't I? Okay, we've got the Slither Boar Pathway on the other side. So that's three foils and Waking the Trolls. Yeah, Turtle Troll card, that one. Okay. Yeah, so I'm curious, is there anything you would put in a Historic Goblin deck, perhaps? Any cuts you would make? Any additions? Let me know. Rhymewood Falls. 
and a mythic. Yes, the borderless haunting voyage. Okay, first mythic has been pulled. Pop that down there. I actually am surprised to see it. I didn't know you would get the uh, borderless cards. I thought those were limited to the collector boosters, which instantly we will be cracking open at least one box of those next week. So we've got Icy Manolith, that's cool. Snow Covered Forest and a Henge Gate Pathway with a Mist Gate Pathway on the other side, which I'm thinking they might be doing those um, in... Oh, here we go. Nafi Betrayer King. Love that artwork. Okay, so I'm going to set those aside as I find them. Actually looks uh, better than I was expecting. Uh, the previews, I didn't think it looked that fantastic, but I guess they were too small and uh, got more detail on the real card. Story Seeker Foil and Tundra Fumarole for the rare. Okay, so we are now a third of the way through the box. We are cooking nicely, I think. Okay, we've got a Human Warrior, Snow-Covered Swamp, and Tosky Bearer of Secrets. Nice one. This spell can't be counted. Axe-Guard Armory. I always say Asgard on that one. Which, uh, if you know your Norse mythology, that's uh, the home of Odin and Thor and company, or maybe I'm getting my Marvel uh, stuff mixed up because they borrowed from it as well. Snow-covered island and a showdown of the Skulls enchantment saga. Had to check if that was a foil. Love that artwork. That's real creepy. If you uh, see what that's about, the mechanic there. Okay, let's get into it. Demon Berserker Token, Volatile Fjord, a Foil, Sirtland Frostpire, and a Mythic. Yes, it's Nico Aris, the new Planeswalker. Very cool. Extended art. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll make room over here. So that's two Mythics now. Anything? Nope. So if you have opened any packs of Kaldheim on this pre-release weekend, or for that matter, afterwards, have you had any crazy pulls? Leave a note in the comments. And another mythic! What is happening here? Alrund, God of the Cosmos. Back-to-back -back mythics on the other side. Hacker, Whispering Raven. Okay, so three of them so far. Good deal. And we're not even halfway through the box yet. I hope that's a good sign that we'll get, uh, maybe, dare we say it, a 7 or 8 mythic box. That could be possible. We've got the Raven's Warning. Great Hall of Starnheim. Oh, Vega the Watcher. Pop him over there. I wonder how many showcases we'll get in this box. So we've got two so far. Keep our eyes peeled for more. Okay, got the treasure token, glacial floodplain, foil, run ashore, and Turgrid, god of fright. And on the other side, it is Turgrid's lantern. Valkyrie, Carter, Doom Scourge. It's cool. Okay, so three showcases. And where is Tybalt? Or do you call him Tybalt? What is your preferred pronunciation? Let me know. Snow covered, swampy, Kolvori, god of kinship. And on the other side, we've got the ring heart crest. So pop that over there with the showcases. I don't think, did I miss any? Yes, I did. We've got Toski over here. I should be paying more careful attention. Okay, so. Nothing else in that one. All right, so I'm saying now we're about halfway through, a bit over halfway. Okay, we've got the Elf Warrior Highland Forest and another mythic. Nice, Taiva Kel, legendary planeswalker. All right, so we've got two planeswalkers so far. Can we add even more to the collection? 
Stay tuned, people. So this is actually looking like a decent box so far. I see Manolith Snow Covered Forest, a foil Kusima God of the Voyage. Let's uh, flip, I'm doing that thing again. These cards are real slick. Made in Japan, I guess. The Omen Kill, great card quality, I will say. And the rare is Cosmos Elixir. Trickster Gods Heist, nothing else there. And we will be getting stuck into the set boosters. Those come out next weekend if you are curious. Okay, Rune Forge Champion is the rare Rune of Mortality. So we've got lots of runes in this, as you might expect from a Norse themed set with all these Vikings. They actually have vehicles as well. Don't know if we've seen any yet. Dwarf Berserker, Snow Covered Swampy, and Saralf Realm Eater, a dirty big giant wolf. And no showcases. So we're getting close to the two thirds of the way through here. And I'm trying to damage the cards as best I can. I think I'm okay. All right. Oh, there's somebody in the background. So I bet you put these together and they make a picture. I wonder what that is. Alpine Meadow, a foil King Harold's Revenge. And oh, Arnie Broken Brow. Nice one with the showcase artwork. Add that to the pile. Oh, Colossal Plow. Here we go. Giant plow vehicle. What do you think of that? Will you roll over your opponents with it? I wonder if you could pump that thing up and uh, squash them with it. Elf warrior and a snow covered mountain. Loving the art on those. A Skemfar Avenger for the rare. Okay, had to check it wasn't a foil. Okay, the last third and this is around the time we have an avalanche so let's move things around here we have some great pile organization on this channel as you might have noticed welcome to the arena snow covered island and magda brazen outlaw the drain creature dwarf berserker rune of speed okay so we actually opened over 50 packs of Kaldheim in MTG Arena. If you miss that video, I'll chuck a link in the corner. Like the foretell thing here. Nice little reminder card. Snow covered plains and blight step pathway. And on the other side, we've got the seer step pathway. Gorgeous artwork on that one. No showcases. So the mythics, have they dried up? We've got four so far. Angel, Warrior, Island, and Jorn, God of Winter. Legendary snow creature god on the other side. Keldring, the Rhyme Staff. Draugr's Helm, that's some badass artwork there. Okay. So I would be a bit disappointed, I think, if we only got four mythics. Kaya the Inexorable, so a nice emblem there, emblem of Kaya. And that's the problem with these Japanese printed things. They just slide around all over the place. Okay then, Snow Covered Plains and Blessing of Frost. We've got the Arcanist. Was that a... Ah, I thought that was a goblin, but no, it's a troll. Never mind, I was trolled by the trolls yet again. Story of my life, really. Okay, treasure, sulfurous mire, foil, rune of sustenance, and rally the ranks. Where is the juicy goodness? Paging juicy goodness. Let's get in here. Oh, cat token. That's fun. So I bet people are brewing up cat decks already. Snowfield Sinkhole, 
Foil Snow Covered Swamp and Bark Channel Pathway. And on the other side, we've got the Tide Channel Pathway. Path to the World Tree, okay. Tybalt, where are you, sir? Or Valky, as your uh, alter ego is known. The hood hooded fellow from the trailer, Elf Warrior. Snow-covered mountain and battle for Bretagard. So another one of these enchantment sagas, a dwarven hammer. All right. So we have five packs left. What is happening, people? I'm hoping for a run of mythics at the end here. Highland Forest, Rise of the Dreadman. Whatever that means, looks cool. Giant Berserker, I've heard things about the Giant decks. It sounds like uh, those are going to do some damage. We shall see. Okay, another one of those. One of these. A foil. Oh, foil fin, the fang bearer. That looks pretty spiffy. And a mythic. Resplendent Marshall. Fantastic. So five mythics. That is about average for a typical booster box. But we want more. We have three more packs to crack here. Let's see if we can increase that tally a bit. And the bears of Lit Jara are not going to cut the mustard, unfortunately. Two packs left. Let's see some spicy goodness here. Welcome to the arena. What are you playing in the arena? Let me know. And Tybalt's Trickery. This card is insane. I saw this ridiculous combo deck that uh, Bad Boy Gaming put together. You gotta check that out. It's hilarious. Turn two wins. Valkyrie's Sword. Okay. One more pack to crack and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. We've got Dwarf Berserker Arctic Tree Line. Foil, Invoke the Divine, talk about building suspense, and the rare, oh nice finish, the World Tree, this might as well be a mythic, it is fantastic, and any more showcases, yes, we get Svela Ice Shaper, pop that over there, so let's have a quick recap of the mythics, so it was a 5 mythic box, get that in focus please. So we've got the Resplendent Marshal, Tyva, Kel, Alrand, Nico Aris, and Haunting Voyage. So there we have it. We'll be back with even more Kaldheim coming real soon. Hope everyone out there is staying safe and healthy. Thanks for watching and have a great day.